Rebecca and Ashley, we're doing solving by substitution. All right, step one, we're going to solve for y. Our equation is x plus y equals 3. And so we're going to solve for y. So Ashley is going to take away the x. So we have negative x plus 3 equals y. I think I'm better. Ashley, solve the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, this hey. is Becca and Ashley in the junior hallway now. Junior. We were in the senior one, but yeah. now we're in the junior by this tree. <laughs> the awesome okay. tree. Now Ashley is going to do <laughs> step number two. Okay. And it is... <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so then we're going to plug y or <laughs> negative x plus 3 into this equation right here which is 2x plus 3y equals 6. So it's going to look like 2x plus 3, parentheses, negative x plus 3, parentheses, equals 6. And now, Ashley's going to solve it. I'm going to solve it? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay, fine. I'll talk about <laughs> it. And she'll do the writing that she's been doing. Okay. So it's... You got you to gotta distribute it yep. to both of these. Yes. So it's 2x plus negative three x in parentheses. Yeah. Plus nine. <laughs> yeah. Nine equals six. Six. And then it's negative x plus nine. Negative x plus nine. Equals six. Equals six. So you minus the nine on both sides. Then you get x plus three. Three. What, how would, but what about the negative? Where's that go? Don't you have to divide it by negative one? Oh well. Let's do how he has Well, it's negative x equals negative three, so it's x equals three. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. okay. There. That was our step, step number two. two. Now we're going to do step number three in a different hallway. <laughs> Guess mm. which one? No, I'm kidding. You'll never find out. Hey, everybody. It's Ashley. Hi, it's Becca. And we are in the sophomore hallway now. Yeah. And we're writing step three. Yeah. And we're going to finish the process of substitution. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to plug in x. So, or. To solve for y, right? Yeah, to solve for y. Okay. So we have 3 plus y equals 3. 3 plus y equals 3? Yep. And so then you're going to subtract 3. Or wait. Zero. Okay, basically what you're gonna do in this situation is you're just gonna figure out like, well, what plus three is three? So that would be zero. Yeah. So your answer is y, y is zero. zero. So our answer for our solving for substitution is we're gonna see where these points connect. And it is at three comma zero. That's the point. They touch at that one. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to be leaving now. I just feel like my head was cut off. But that's okay. You like it. Okay, we're going to go down. <laughs> Bye. Oh, one second. Is that right there? Oh, yeah. That's the outside oh, of the software hallway. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look, there's our problem. All right, yeah, we would have done something at the freshman hallway, but there's no, there's no light window. There. Or, like, yeah. Because yeah. that's a dungeon area. That's where we live. All right. Bye. Bye. Everybody, it's Ashley and Haley and Hi. Becca, <laughs> and we're walking in the hallway. We're gonna find a scary evil math monster. It's gonna. Yes, it's a math monster. 
Production. I'm right now, hallway girl. 